Welcome, my name is Brittany and I'm gonna be going through a chest, shoulder and arm alignment and strength today. You can do this if you have no props. If you have a magic circle, weights and a band, get all of those out. I will let you know when we use each piece of equipment what else you could use a pillow in place of the magic circle. For the band, you really could use just your own resistance, so don't worry. But you can get out, if you, if you need to, get out any of the pieces of equipment and um, we will start this workout. So, we've got our magic circle. Feet are in a nice soft opening on the uh, mat and you're down into your um, heels. And we're gonna go ahead and just take a breath and exhale. I'm really just holding the circle right now. Elbows are loose. Shoulders are down the back onto the ribs. Notice if your pelvis um, is, you know, needing is a little tight and you need to move your back, move the back a little bit, and then get it to where your tail is just really hanging down and the crown of the head is lifting up. Good. Take a couple more breaths, inhaling, exhaling, and you might just find that as you exhale, you connect a little more to the circle. Nothing crazy, no jaw tightening, no shaking. Inhale, maybe you loosen the grip a little bit and exhaling, it's very, very, very light. Got your knees slightly bent. And just feeling that little bit more connection each time with the circle. And I'm going to let the circle drop even a little more, and I'm going to take a couple shoulder rolls back, just simply to get the shoulders not to be too tight. Good. Do a couple shoulder rolls forward. This is all just part of a little bit of a warm-up here. If the knees need a little bend and release, let that happen. Take one arm up, bring it down. Take it up, bring it down. Again, we're just trying to move the body up and move the arms, then bring it to the circle. Then the other arm goes up, bring it down, up, bring it down, up, bring it onto the circle. We're gonna go ahead and take the circle out. Make sure that you are arms pulled back. So it would be like if somebody came and pressed your circle and it pushed your arm bones back into the socket so the chest is wide. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, noticing that we're not letting our shoulders roll forward to do this. And the alignment of the body is very much head over tail, light bend in the knees. Because maybe most important is the alignment of the body. Inhale, notice the ribs are expanding. Exhale, ribs connect and we go into the circle. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, nice and big. Exhale, keep that tail dropping. Now we're gonna hold here small little pulses. Feeling that under the arm to the lower part of the arm, Notice that your circle is not too high. If it gets too high, I'm showing where we don't want it. We get our shoulders up. So pulse, pulse. Keep the collarbones wide. Pulse and four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna pull the circle in. I'm opening my elbows, but not so high that I lift the shoulders. And I'm gonna push away. I'm gonna pull it in to give some resistance. I'm gonna push away. I'm gonna pull it in. And what you can do is play a little bit with where you're pushing into the circle more. I'm pushing into the circle as I pull in. I'm pausing a moment and then push into the circle out too. You certainly could play with doing it one way or the other, but I'm sort of pushing each direction I go with a little release as I get, once I get there. So I'm doing a little release, push again. Little release, pull again. Little release, push again. Little release, pull again, little release, push again, little release, pull, 
Little release, gives a nice little rhythm, push again. Little release, pull. Little release, push again. From here, we're gonna take the arms down. You're gonna lift the arms up. How high depends on you keeping your posture. And it could depend on how tight you are across the chest or under the arms. I have a feeling as I do this with you that I'm going to get a little higher each time because but my chest and um, serratus under the arms are a little tight. So I'm just sort of inching up, but we don't want to go up so high that we lose the posture, stick the tail out or stick the ribs forward. Good. Now I'm not even so concerned about, I'm not adding extra squeeze to the circle very much. I'm lifting up and down. And I should say that this is, if, if you're doing this even with a couch pillow, it can really work. You can hold a pillow. You could do this with no circle and imagine the circle here. Good. We're lifting up. And when our body's in proper alignment and our arms move, it is much harder than meets the eye. Our arms are working. We're getting some work in the shoulder and the arms are um, really working as they move up and down. Good. We're going to do one more up and down. And this time we're going to bring it into the center again and take another set of squeezes. Keep the collarbones wide. So again, notice if you're protracting forward. I was kind of looking at my shoulder. Notice if it's pulling forward, you're pulling it back. Good. And nice. Bring it down. We're going to go ahead and widen the legs just a little bit. I'm a little wider than hip distance. Put the circle on your thigh or hip, but we want a long arm. So my arm that's holding it is long. We don't want to be up like this. So long arm. I'm holding it so it's parallel to the floor. Other arm is out, but we might find we move it. Take an inhale. Exhale, push into the circle. Inhale. Exhale, push into the circle. Notice what's happening to both obliques. Inhale. You may feel this outside very strongly. It's turning on because it's getting pushed over and it's trying not to go over. So as you push, it's going to brace so your body doesn't get pushed to the right side or left side here. For me, I have it on my left side right now, so I'm going to the right. Pushing and noticing each time we push, we feel this connection through this opposite side that has the circle, but the side that doesn't have the circle is working just as hard. Inhale, exhale, pushing. Inhale, exhale, push. Good. Release a little bit, shake out. That's a lot of work. Looks small, but it's mighty. Okay, put on the other side, same thing. We want to be able to have a long arm, and I have my palm of my hand into the circle. Inhale. This arm I kind of leave out because I want to check my oblique here on the side. Inhale. Exhale, pushing into the circle. Inhale. Exhale. Notice the big theme of this. Inhaling. Exhaling. Using the breath. Inhale. I'm noticing this side is a little harder for me to stay stable. Turning on this opposite side is taking a little more work. Exhale. You're pushing into the circle under the armpit on that side, but that opposite side is having to turn on too to keep everything connected. Notice I'm not really counting. I'm not as concerned about number. Usually I am. If you know me, I love number. But really, it's about the feel right now. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pressing. Good. Come out. We're going to take our circle down, and now we're grabbing our band. Circle's coming down. We've got our band. Feet are kind of going to come back to hit bone distance apart or sitting bone. You can go a little wider than sitting bone, so that's why I said hip bone as well. I'm going to go one ply. So if, if you're really strong, you can go to double, but you need to be able to pull it a little bit, and I suggest one. OK, 
Okay, so we're here forward. We're going to reach the arms forward. We're here with our body facing forward. So we're reaching the arms forward, tails down, a little bit of connection at your glutes. Don't lock the knees. Got the, this in line with my chest or just over with the sternum. We're going to pull open. We should be able to hold this for a split second picture and come back in. We're opening through the back, through the arms. Good. I'm coming in. And you may say, this is chest, shoulder, and arm alignment, but we're aligned through also our shoulder, our scapula are behind us, so you may be feeling posterior, back, anterior, front, medial, right through the middle of the shoulder. Pulling, we're taking a picture. What's really important, I'm going to be a broken record, like the magic circle, the thing that I said when we were using it was the rest of the body has to stay still. Tail is down. Crown of the head is up. I'm pulling, but I'm not moving my back to pull it. I'm not, I'm bracing my center, using that breath. Good. We're going to do two more. One. Next one, you're going to pull and hold. Now we're going to hold this and you are working. Crown of the head is up. Tail is down. Abdominals are drawn in. You're pushing your right and your left and check to see if you're doing that equally. If you feel one arm is pushing more, reach the other for three, two, and one. Bring it down. Anytime you can take a shoulder roll, rolling it out. Now I've got both my palms down. I'm going to put my left hand to my left hip and then I'm holding with my right and I need a little bit of space. I'm going to glue my left fist to my hip and now I'm going to pull across. This one, I'm going to count to make sure we're even on the other side. If you can't quite pull this all the way, you need to choke up more. If you are, you need to go further out on the band. If it's, you want more challenge, you can go down more, closer to your left fist. Good. Keep pulling. We've got it. Making a long, feels very much like draw a sword, right? We're doing like a draw a sword. It's okay if the band gets slack at the bottom. If you want to pull your fist all the way in, then you have to reconnect it again. So I'm feeling my medial delta, the middle of the shoulder, a little bit through the front. When I have to hold it at the end, I'm feeling the back. So it's a great combination for the entire shoulder to be working as a unit. Good. From here, bring that down. Give a little shake out. We put the right fist, so we're holding with a nice long wrist, at the hip. I left is in, we're going to go open, nice and long, find that position for your hand, and come back in. Good. Opening, pulling in. Really important again, uh, I told you, broken record, we got to keep our body in alignment while we do this. So there's going to be a slight bend in the knees, the tail is down, the ribs are in with every breath, they need to expand for breath, and then... Exhale, good. We have a nice open chest. Crown of the head is reaching up. Pulling, good. Gonna reach and pull. Good, two more. Reach and pull. We got our draw sword. Every part of the shoulder is working. And we pull and come down. Good. One more here with our band. We're gonna lift over the head. Whenever we're over the head, we want to be slightly forward because when we go back, there's a tendency to arch. So kind of move your arms, find kind of that perfect spot where you can drop your shoulders. From here, we're going to pull the band. I'm going to go behind my neck. That feels okay for me today. If it doesn't feel okay for you, it might feel funny, but you can stop at the top of your head. Or you could go in the front but you may have to pull your chin back a little bit. So you can play with it. I'm going to stick with the back and my chin's just going forward a little bit. So if you've done a few and you don't feel too much in that back of the shoulder um, and top of the shoulder, then you can choke in or take your hands in a little more, a little closer. Good. We're pulling under and reaching up. Pulling under. And even check your feet. They're going to tell you so much about... Your weight, I just noticed I was going a little bit to one foot, or I felt like I was, so I'm going to make sure I'm really heavy in both sides. Good. Exhale when you pull so that the ribs will pull 
In. Now we're going to take one more pull. Hold it here. Pump it out a little bit if you can. Some of you may be at max resistance where you feel like you can't pump it. Little pumps. Pump. Pump. It's resting on my neck a little bit. I'm not letting it pull my neck forward, but it's resting a little bit or your hair. Good. Hold it out. Lift it up and let it go. Good. We're going to go ahead and take the band down. So our band is down now. You can get them out of the way. Now we're going to grab our weights. With our weights, we're going to stand up first. Then we will take it to our mat. So standing up first, again, check. We have been in this upright position. But remember, this mimics, if you're doing anything on the reformer, this mimics that. So you've got your back nice and flat on the reformer back. You can imagine it there. Knees are slightly bent. From here, we're going to go ahead and reach our arms to a high diagonal. I have my palms up, and I'm going to bicep curl and reach out. Now, yes, your shoulders are still working, but I find at this high diagonal, we can be, we can really cue into the bicep too. So we're out and pull in. I have three pound weights in each hand. You could have more. You could have less. You could have no weight and just be pulling and pushing the air. Exhale. Inhale out. Exhale. Inhaling out. Exhale. Inhaling out. Good. Exhaling here. We've got it. I'm cheering you on and myself on. We've got it. Exhale. Inhale one more. Exhale and inhale. Bring the arms down so you just get a moment release because we just keep working on these arms, chest, shoulders. Okay, we're coming up. Good old-fashioned pec deck. But again, we know our shoulders are still working. So we're pulling the elbows in. If you can bring the whole lower arm in, go for it. But um, I'm not feeling that today that I'm able to pull everything. But I'm going to aim my elbows in which then connects me more to my pecs. Notice again, are you standing evenly on your legs? Do you feel that you're pulling with both arms? Or is there one that's doing a little more work? I love to do that with myself, just kind of feel which side is maybe taking a little vacation and which side is being type A and trying to make them both match each other. Good. We're going to go ahead and do four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Bring that all the way down. From here, we have one more before we hit the mat. So we're going to lift up what looks kind of like the hugging part of hug a tree. Just at the chest, I'm not too high. We open one arm, pull it in. Lower down. Lift up, open the other arm, pull it in. Now you're going to find those obliques that we worked earlier with the magic circle, they're going to kick on because we're doing one arm here. So when we come on, we want to make sure we open, but we don't start to twist. So that oblique's going to work and coming down. Good. Coming up, open, and down. Good. Here, open. And coming down. Come in, open, pull it together, and down. One more. Up, open, pull it together, and Slowly way down. Lower down carefully. Make sure your other props are out of the way. And we have our feet on the floor. Okay, from here, I'm going to um, go ahead and put your weights. I'm going to put them down like a hammer. And I'm just going to do a couple pelvic curls. Because we were just standing for a while, our pelvic tilts. These are our pelvic tilts. Inhale to the tail, exhale the waist. And you will notice that I'm not, I'm not being too careful. I'm letting my jaw, my neck, and my ribs move a little bit. I'm just kind of letting it rock back and forth. Now find your neutral. Find those pubic bones, nice and even with a navel, heavy sacrum. We're going to start with our elbows in. Exhale as you narrow row. Pulling in. Exhale, narrow row. Now notice we have our collarbones wide. 
So we want to make sure we push up, but we don't bring our shoulders. I'm showing here, we don't want to lift them. So we're here, <sighs> wide collarbones, which pretty much just makes everything connect. <sighs> Good, down and up, pushing up. Make sure you're over your chest, you're not over your face. Good. Now we're going to come up, turn your palms so they're away from you or toward your feet. Bend elbows toward the floor, push up. So now we have a wider chest press. Wide chest press. We have the narrow chest press. I think I might have accidentally said row because it feels like a row when we pull, but the first one we got our wide narrow chest press, now our wide chest press. Check to see if your elbows are hitting about the same time or do you have one arm that keeps going first? We want to see how even we can make this. Notice keeping your neutral, drawing the rib points together in the front. When that happens, our ribs widen in the back. Inhale, exhale. Turn your palms. We have a soft elbow, so don't lock them. Soft elbow. Now pec fly open and up. We should end up where we have a little space. If you see my hand here, I have some space from the floor and pulling up. Open the door, as I say with pec fly, and close the door right at the armpit. Open the door. Close the door. Open the door. These are all great movements of which you could always eventually pause the tape and add more of them at different points. You could add heavier weight. You could add more breath. Good. You could add go slower. Good. One more. We're going to bring it in. Carefully bring the weights together. I'm going to wrap my fingers, but if that is not secure for you, don't do it. You can have your weights just next to each other. My, show my ears, my elbows will stay up to the ceiling. I'm going to go over. Now, for a moment, if you need to look at your weights, do it. But keep your chin down so you have long neck in the back. And... You may feel like you are coming close to the forehead here. And try to really engage your tricep. Every time you go up, pause and give a nice squeeze. That's a word I don't like to use that often, but almost think of it here. Engaging is better, but almost really squeeze it. Some people resonate with that better. That at the very top, you're giving it that squeeze. Good. We're going to do four. Three, two, one, nice. And carefully bring your weights down away from you. From here, I'm going to have you turn around just to give us a nice ending to this work. We have really held the back. We've really been bracing. So hands underneath the shoulders with a spread finger, knees underneath the hips, and let's go to a little cat or a big cat and cow. Your head and your tail are moving at the same in the same place and the ribs are opposite. Ribs are lifting up, head and tail are down, ribs drop down, giving your spine a little movement. Of course, we've worked our arms and chest, and they're still working right now, holding us up. Good. Let's sit back to a child's pose. Reach the arms out. This child's pose, the further you reach your arms, should give you a nice chest stretch. Breathe into your back if you can. Let your left arm reach through. We'll take a thread the needle. Nice stretch here. You can even lay that side of the head down. Breathe into this. Stepping that left arm forward. Take the right under. Breathe. 
breathing into the back. And then go ahead and step down. We're going to tuck our toes, lift your pelvis up, let the heels draw down toward the floor and your ribs toward your thighs. I'm just trying to transition you to standing. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoy it and arms feel aligned and long and strong.